Gaming Bolt presents 15 things we do not want to see in The Elder Scrolls 6. With the new single-player Elder Scrolls possibly in the works, we're going to take a look at 15 things we don't want to see in the next game in this award-winning series. Please note that the views expressed in this video are the opinion of the author and do not necessarily represent the views of, and should not be attributed to, Gaming Bolt as an organization. Monotone Quests Not all, but many of Skyrim's missions were often lagging behind those found in Oblivion. Where Oblivion had long, varied quests, Skyrim went the route of long and pretty much the same. Many of the quests felt similar to the last. With Elder Scrolls VI, we'd like to see more variety in missions. This could potentially sprout a new experience from the old repetitive mission focus. Bloated Combat Mechanics If there was anything wrong with Skyrim, it was definitely the overwhelming combat system. Having to balance so many abilities on a wheel, then the use of weapons and a partner on the side, a simplified combat system will keep players out of a massively overcomplicated combat system menu and into the breathtaking game that we know will be there to behold. Glitches and Bugs Skyrim's launch went smoothly enough, but it did have a lot of bugs and glitches within it. Often, players would get stuck inside mountains or horses would go flying in midair. Bethesda needs to fix this in the next one. Long Load Times Load times in Oblivion and Skyrim were often a bit overwhelming. Just going into a hut, home, or dungeon could take what felt like forever. The new Elder Scrolls will more than likely be on the current systems, so we want... No, we demand faster loading times. Single Region Morrowind took place in Morrowind, Oblivion took place in Cyrodiil, and Skyrim in Skyrim. Each game, one really cool region. But for a new gen game, we want more. Replace that single region game with multiple lands, even if there are places we've visited before. Imagine a world full of new designs, places we've never seen before, areas that are yet to be explored. DLC Launch Issues Remember that horribly long, timed exclusive wait that PS3 owners had to endure? An entire month, while Xbox 360 players got to experience Skyrim DLC alone. Then after that month, the launch was delayed even further because building on the PS3 was a bit more complicated? Well, that needs to go. Uninspired Story My biggest gripe in Skyrim was its uninspired, unoriginal story. It was pretty much, an evil dragon is alive again, go stop it. Then I stopped it. And that was how that worked. We need a story that's going to go for a shock and awe. A story that really brings out the beauty of the land and makes us think rather than handing us a mindless plot that's so predictable there was no need for a story in the first place. No game choices. The next Elder Scrolls can really learn a lot from games such as Mass Effect. Choose our own adventures, our own storied path. Let us make choices that don't just change dialogue like the past Elder Scrolls, but let us make choices that actually change the dynamics of the game. Multiple endings rather than, no matter what we say, it will all lead to this conclusion. Show us something new. Something that will scream out new generation of gaming. Guild Diversity Guilds from past Elder Scrolls were plentiful. What wasn't? Diversity within them. They each had different stories and characters, yes. I could be playing in one guild, go to another guild, and quickly forget what the past guild was all about, because they seemed so much alike. Guilds felt jammed with so many similarities, even in quests. Each guild should have had a few high-quality and diverse differences that flash how each one fits into the world in their own unique ways. Same Armors Skyrim carried a few really cool armors. It's time to up that amount, maybe add in some newer versions of classic armors, and of course a new set of original armors that will make our mouths water. There's nothing better than stepping into a new, yet familiar game, thinking we know everything, then unlocking armors and weapons that are totally unexpected. Complicated Menus Menus over menus and hidden menus in those menus. Ah, uh, it's so confusing. Oblivion and Skyrim are massive games. It's no wonder the menu system was so vast and often overwhelming. It's time to overcome this obstacle. A menu system that is intuitive, interactive, and simplified is a must. Lackluster Crafting Crafting in past Elder Scrolls games was in one word, boring. Find items, click a few menu options, then instant items. Why not spice this section up a bit? 
maybe add some exotic items that require massive quests, or this may be a bit strange, but how about a character like Sir from Destiny who sells special items once a week? This could open the excitement of wondering what will appear on a weekly basis and expand the experience month after month. Non-Riding Dragons Riding dragons in Skyrim was extremely limited, and it definitely wasn't very fun. Dragons in the next Elder Scrolls should be completely controllable. Find a dragon, defeat it, tame it, control it. Fly anywhere within the boundaries of the new land. This is a lot to ask of a game that bases its pacing on exploration on the ground, but there are ways around this with magical barriers and such. Make it happen, Bethesda. Copy-paste dungeons. If there is one rather annoying element in past Elder Scrolls games, it's the copy and paste dungeons. If you've been to one dungeon, the rest are pretty much the same, except for moving a few set pieces from one corner to another. Bringing in a game that could potentially take hours to fully complete needs a major makeover from dungeon to dungeon. There's no need to make a land massive if the developers wanted to get lazy after their first day of drawing out the blueprints of the first dungeon. Unrewarding Exploration Elder Scrolls is notorious for being unrewarding in exploration. One could travel the land for hours on end and find little more than a spellbook, or in my case, a treasure chest under a locked grate. Then hours of searching for the switch. Gate opens and what's inside the chest, an elixir. No, explorers need to really be rewarded for hard work. What do you want to see in the next Elder Scrolls game? And if you like what we're doing, go ahead and click that subscribe button. See you soon.